This horrendous monstrosity is the Atari 7800 controller that came with the Atari 7800 in the United States. And my list of complaints with this thing is so long I can't fit them into one review. So I'll just start with the highlights first and foremost. I can't stand how you hold this thing. It feels more like a remote controller or a phaser gun or something than it does an actual joystick controller. You might be thinking, how could you dislike anything that says Atari? in such a loud, obnoxious, stainless steel fashion. And to be honest with you, this is my favorite part of the controller because you definitely represent that you're playing Atari. There's no doubt about it. Now really the main problem with this thing is in the way you hold it and the inability to really get control of these two buttons when you're playing the game. The joystick itself is clumsy, it's awkward, it doesn't move very far as you can see. And that's just it's, it's kind of hard to use because it is a bit stiff and, or, or you could be very gentle with it. However, if you're holding it in your hand and you're really getting into a video game, it just slides around in your hand like this. So it's just a really odd design and obviously they were trying to do something drastically different than the competition and they succeeded, but um, not well. You can see that we have two buttons. Many Atari 7800 games used two buttons, which was one button more than the Atari 2600. And you, you gripped it with a thumb here and a finger there. But with no real but with no real way to support this thing, it would just slide around in your hand. And who wants to play a video game like that? It's actually just try doing this on your on your remote control home if you don't have one. Pretend like there's buttons there and press them like that and then try to rock a joystick at the same time makes you want to just smash this thing into the ground, but you can't because it says Atari. There's some other odd design highlights on this thing. Note we have a thumb grippy pad here and then some little design cues there on the plastic. And presumably that's if you want to play something like Ms. Pac-Man where you just want to put your thumb there and grip the joystick and play, but that actually doesn't, doesn't work too bad because it does give you a place to actually hold the controller steady but if you're playing a game where you're using two buttons forget it it's just all over the place and they also give you that same design thing on the back standard Atari 2600 7800 plug you can see you got a textured plastic all the way around this thing they give you a little bit of grip control here but this thing is still just uh, pretty much an abomination as far as I'm concerned and if you have an Atari 7800 in the United States, instead of using this controller, you're better off either playing with this controller or the Sega Genesis controller, which will also work with the Atari 7800. If you don't like the Atari 7800 controller, nod your head back and forth. That's right. It does have that nice chrome plate on it though. Come on, you do like that, don't you? <laughs> so easy.